Hello, everybody. Welcome. Midnight. I can't believe it's midnight for a bunch of you people. So if you're still awake, I appreciate you joining us. There's a 33 comments. You guys should really stop putting so many comments in at the start because I can't catch up. <laughs> um, so we, I've done three episodes on a new series called The Aquamate Experience. Uh, it's kind of designed to have a one-on-one -on -one interview with either someone in the fish fam or someone in the industry and um, sort of get to know how they got to where they are now, whether it's uh, opening a fish shop, breeding fish, having a YouTube channel. And so far, three the first three people have all been Australians, um, but we're going to have our first international guest. I bet you guys can't guess who it is. The thumbnail may have given it away. The title may have given it away. <laughs> But in saying all that, let's welcome Jesse from HC Aqua. Jesse, hey, how are you? Up? How's it? <laughs> I need it. Now, everyone in the chat, this is uh, a good time for you guys to to ask questions to grill Jesse. But um, I've admired Jesse's channel from afar for a long time and uh, also very quickly began to realize that he is one of the nice guys of the fish fam. And oh. <laughs> I don't know, I just admire everything that you've done as far as supporting everybody. I always see you in lots of chats um, and very knowledgeable and uh, someone that I sort of go to when I'm thinking about pseudomoguls, which is a oh, whole yeah. new thing yeah. for me. <laughs> That's one of my favorite fish for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. I just got to adjust my audio. Sorry, one sec. Okay. Um, and I just want to quickly... Say hello to everybody in the room, Candy. Hello. I saw a comment actually. I was um, LRB Aquatics did a stream before with JH. I think you were in there as well. Um, Zen Ginger said, "Are you going to be there for the stream tonight?" And Candy was like, "I was hoping that time was a mistake. <laughs> it wasn't a mistake. <laughs> Jesse's the one to blame for the time." <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I finally got my kids all settled, and now I can relax and have my time. So that's why. I was having a pretty average day. I had to work today and then I had to drive an hour to see a customer and they didn't turn up. So I was pretty annoyed about that. So I got home and then me and Harry had been playing and he just rode a bike for the first time ever without oh, training. So nice. Now I'm all pumped. <laughs> how, how old is he? He's seven, but he's sort of, um, he had a bike when he was like three or four mm. and then he just lost interest for a couple of years and then it was like Santa decided it's time for him to... Uh, to get a bike <laughs> is it a bike with like the pedals or no pedals yeah it's a pedal yeah, so it's pedal a proper bike. mountain bike it's pretty, oh, nice, pretty nice. it's got suspension and gears and stuff it's pretty mm. cool. cool it's kind cool. of scary watching your kid ride anyway quickly uh let's see who's here roll call anthony fishy friends hello oh <laughs> that was an hour ago james from fisher and fever how are you chewy turbo fish grb cody son how are we chattanooga ed Love that chappy t-shirt, Chattanooga Ed. It was awesome. Uh, Cam, oh, yeah. <laughs> Aqua Balls, Scotty G66. That's fun to say. Aqua Balls. <laughs> um, Big J Fish Keeper. The one, the only Zen of the Ginger. Uh, I'm like halfway down. Mr. Zen, related to the one and only Zen of Ginger. <laughs> uh, where are we? GRB, I was again. Pam, 54 Punchy. We've just got lots of chatty people. They're all the same people. Chappy's here. If you guys aren't subscribed to Chappy, he is like 20 away from a thousand. So while I'm reading through the uh the comments, jump over to Chappy's channel, click on his little weird, creepy face, hit subscribe, and uh it does a lot of streams. It's a good good value. And a lot of the fish fam are always there too. Um is he in here? I don't see him. He was, yeah. Oh, oh, how many minutes behind am I? Two minutes behind. <laughs> uh, K-Town Reefer, how are you? K-Town, I, um, I started this series called the Aquamate um, Plays, I'm doing a video game on an aquarium, and uh, they're all saltwater fish. Um, I had a comment somewhere near the start that you'll be laughing at me trying to pronounce all the names of these fish. <laughs> um, Cichlids Aquarium Keeper, how are you? I think we're down to the bottom now, and now it just sit. Um, well, I wanted to start at a, a familiar place to start. 
the beginning. So how did you get into fish keeping to begin with? Well, I mean, it's always been in my family, like my, my grandfather and my dad. We always had a fish tank in the house. So it was always a part of my life. Um, but it, it didn't get like this out of hand until I bought my own house, which was maybe about five years ago. I only had like this one, this, this tank behind me, this 75. I only had this one. Um, my, my dad gave it to me. And then so I, I, I started with goldfish. Um, so, and then I saw. Away? How old was I? Um, well, I'm, thir- I'm 41, so I'm 36 or something. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. yeah so, um, so it wasn't a childhood thing. It wasn't like, yeah, we had, I had a I mean, fish. It, I mean, yeah, it was, I mean, I like my, I, my mom used to take me to fish stores all the time. So, I mean, I've always, I've always had it, but I, I only had like one or two tanks, maybe like a 55 gallon or and a 20 or something like that. Yeah. Yep. No, I um, I only ever had a very small one, and then just bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> I have about six tanks that resemble my original tank. Actually, if we get time later, I'll show you one of them. Okay. But, um, um, so how many tanks have you got now? Because uh, I haven't counted in a while. Last time I counted was um thirty five, but I was I know there's like a lot more than that now. So I'm just gonna guess. 50, Can anyone know. else out in the chat, do any of you have that many tanks that you're not sure how many you've got? <laughs> how do you maintain an infinity amount of tanks? Well, my, my wife actually owns a, a lot of them too, and she maintains hers. But then I'm kind of like, this is how much we have. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, it's not that hard. Like, I don't change water every single week. Um, but when I do, I, I'll change um, either this room. I'll either do this one or I'll do the downstairs one. So it's kind of like I kind of split it up so it's not too overwhelming. Yep. Yeah. No, that's good. Um, just quickly, any of the mods that have are on FishTuber's notification, if you could share out the uh, the chat. I know there's a few people said they wanted to see, um, see the stream, but I just thought I'll, just in case they haven't got their notification, there, there's one of them. Dan, Keeping Fish, how are you? Um, so... What sort of um? What are your favorite fish to keep? I mean, you've got a pretty wide variety. Um, so my favorite fish always changes. It's like I, I have it for a while, and then I'm just infatuated with it, and then um, and then I move on to something else. It's not like I get rid of the fish. I still have it. I still love it. But um, so like early in my career, it was the the Dario Dario Scarlet Badis. Um, I have it in the tank behind me. Let's see, this way. No, this way. That little one right there. Yep. Yeah. Um, the yeah, one that you've got your mobile phone set up for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but then I have, I have. Um, I had that without any dramas. Black, yes, I can. A black tiger baddest in there with it, and I, I love to watch them like spar. It's like a scarlet baddest versus a black tiger. It's pretty cool. If we're lucky, maybe we'll get to see that tonight because they're they're always pre- doing that. No, that would be very cool. Yeah, and we were really lucky last time. Uh, for those of you that haven't seen or were were there, uh, I think I told you pretty quickly afterwards because I thought you'd be into it that um, Max S his better pictures started mating right in front of mm, me. I know. I, I did. I, w- I went back and watched it, so I, I caught that. It was pretty cool. It was very cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, someone said it was because of my voice. Maybe maybe that helped. I don't know. <laughs> uh, can they hear you? No, I have earbuds on. They can't hear you. <laughs> we'll see. It, might, work maybe, it works again. If in two from two, I could be like a fish whisperer, maybe. But it, <laughs> it only works for a couple of my fish. <laughs> so, what happens when you have a favorite fish and you said you were like getting infatuated with that fish? What happens when um, you, you're all over that fish and that tank? What happens to all the other tanks? Because I was talking to someone about oh, two or three weeks ago about this tank here that it gets neglected because. There's like a bit of a disconnect because they, they hide all the time. Um, so it was what really curious about that? people have that same sort of thing. What, what fish is that that hides all the time? I'm sorry. Let me mute this for a second. Okay. Sorry. I'm in the garage and the garage door just went. So uh, that's okay. Was for those playing at home. No, but I was asking, like you said, that fish hides all the time. What what is it? Like shellies or something? In here. So this yeah. is these are um yellow labs. 
oh, okay, yeah. There's three in there, and there's a cuckoo cat. Um, mm. They're all pretty small, and it's going down now, so it'll be over in a second. Mm. <laughs> um, I mean, to answer your question, I guess like I guess I don't stare at them as much as at at long. I mean, I still gotta take care of them, so. But I just—it's just like usually when it's like my favorite new fish, I, it gets my attention, and I'm just sitting there staring at it all the time. So I mean, yeah. that kind of—that kind of goes away after a while, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, not fisher in favor. I'm not here. Shush. I is there anything in particular that makes makes a favorite fish? Like, like I'm finding myself going for very like simple, simplistic fish that all of a sudden I just get exactly as you said infatuated with and. Um, there's a little secret up here that um, is going to do that too. It's going to be a tank dedicated to something very simple. Mm. Um, and it's, I don't know, it's, maybe it's just me, but I'm not the sort of person that goes chasing like the big um, yeah. fancy. I, I'm definitely something. more interested in the nano species. I, I tend to at least. Um, not to say like I don't appreciate like arowanas or I don't have any arowanas, but like I definitely like gravitate towards nano fish. I think so. A lot of my favorite fish, like the pseudo mugles, um, rice fish, even mud skippers are really small. Um, yeah, I like really exotic things like pike fish too. Yeah. I um, I got a funny story. I went to the um, a local beach. We were trying to find a good beach to go to, and they're all pretty busy. So we went to a um, finally found a car park that was empty right near the beach. We're like, cool, we'll go to this one. Mm. And then we walked down the hill. And it was a dog beach. There were dogs everywhere. And we're like, uh, oh, well, whatever. Make the most of it. So I started walking through and the water was really warm. And I'm like, I'm just going to try and see if I can find some fish and just hang out. Oh, before I forget, I'll finish the story first. Uh, and there were mud skippers. Oh, cool. All, all through the, the water and like just in and out of the reeds. And then they come out and they, were, they let you get pretty close. Hmm. So I um, took my phone like... It's one of the, it's a Samsung Note 10. So they're worth, it's not cheap. And I'm filming it. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, are these waterproof? So I quickly go on YouTube. I'm like, hey, waterproof <laughs> Samsung Note 10. And they're like, yeah, it's waterproof. I'm like, so I just plunged it in there. And I was trying to make a video. I thought I could make something really fun, get a little bit of, uh, do a bit of research afterwards and find out a bit more about the, the mud skippers local. Oh. Um, and I got all this footage under the water, and I'm like, "This looks amazing!" Except I didn't get one mud skipper in the video. Oh, man. <laughs> and then I put my phone out, and it started making weird noises. And it's like, "Please remove from charger moisture detected." I'm like, "Oh, oh what crap. have I done?" It's all good. Uh, it's made it's for okay now. <laughs> man, I, I wonder if those are the same types of mud skippers that um Pam has. Um, because I, um, I I sent her some that were called graceful mud skippers, and when I looked up the scientific name. And researched about it. They, I think it said they're from Australia, or yeah, you know, at least. I um, I always seen them like in mangroves and stuff. And that this is a different sort of. I could be wrong. I think it was, um, pretty sure it was mud skippers. The way that they're sort of just sitting still, blending in well, with the sand the, with there's, spots. There's like saltwater um, blennies that look very much like mud skippers, but they're a little different. Well, I don't know. It what totally could have been them, actually, as yeah. well. Yeah, those are cool too. Yeah, I used to have one. Um, so for all of you guys that are in the chat, I got one of these, and you didn't, unless you've already got one. Oh, so, right on. good, you got it. You reminded me when you uh pulled over the. <laughs> How lucky am I? I don't. <laughs> I'm really curious. I'm doing going to do a little bit of research to see. Because remember, I mentioned I'm like they're not illegal; they're illegal here. And you're like, oh, really? <laughs> no, are they? Are you? Are you yeah, sure? they are. Oh, oh. <laughs> if, if they're Cuban, right. they are. <laughs> oh, they're not Cuban. They're not Cuban. Oh, good. Well, then that's all right. Because it's apparently it's not like there's anything to boo about it. I think it's just that they can't tax those certain brands or something like that. But um, oh, wow. no. A, yeah, so I mean, that was it. that sort of. Sorry. It was a gift. You didn't buy it. Maybe it's a, that makes it okay. I yeah, don't know. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, special shout out to Cooker One One One. Dad, how I need <laughs> cigars for you. Hey, I don't not with what you've gone through at the moment. They're not for you. Um, Doctor Black's flying down from Byron Bay or near Byron Bay um, for the Underwater Pet Expo 
in about six weeks, actually. It's, it's coming up fast. Oh, it is. You fast. said make sure that I save him one. So um, I think I'll share one with Dr. Black and I'll right on. Um, let you know how we go. But I appreciate that a lot. Thank you. <laughs> um, but it also brings me to the, those. Can I actually show these properly? I mean, it, it's, it was, I put it on the customs form. So I, I declared it as cigars. So I'm pretty sure it was okay because it says yeah, uh, right on the paper. It's so. funny, actually. It was perfectly packaged. I got a note. Um, I got a note from the Australia Post saying, You're, uh, you have a package arriving today. And I got all excited because I'd ordered these at that time. So. Oh, I'm trying yeah. out some black Aquamate t-shirts. I like them way more than the white, but mm. it's a little bit big, but they seem to shrink when I wash them. So we'll see what happens after that. But um, yeah, I, they said, oh, the package isn't coming today now. And I was like, oh, bummer. And then I get home and there's this box in my mailbox and I'm like, that's too small for a <laughs> t-shirt. <laughs> I got really lucky. James from Fish Room Fever um, sent something through. I think KG... Um, KJ Cichlid sent me something, Jim oh, yeah. Green or James Green, if anyone can tell me, because I got a lovely um, Christmas card, but um, I was like, I don't, I don't know who that is. <laughs> um, oh, and KG Cichlids, KG Cichlids is uh, Kevin. Yeah, so I'm trying to figure it out. Pam was trying to find out for me. I think she was talking to Dr. Black. Um, so whoever it is, I thanked them in a video before. And... Um, and Crystal Pets and Plants sent me something too. So it was really nice. Oh, Dr. Black's here. There's one of the people I was thinking might be like, oh, I missed it. Um, can I, I can show this, but this sort of brought me to one of the other questions I wanted to ask you. Can you guys all see what that says? I'll wait. I'll wait three minutes until someone actually says, yeah, we can see what that says. Yay. <laughs> um, HC, so... You have your own brand of cigars? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm in Hawaii. We can grow tobacco here. <laughs> no. So what, what is it? Is it, it's, yeah, where's that come it's from? Just a, it's just a brand name. Um, but um, like I, I buy samplers a lot. And so I just ran into that one. And before I even had a channel, like I liked that brand. So, you know, I bought more and then, and you know, I like, I would, I would buy it here and there and I didn't really click that that it was actually my channel's name and someday I, at one point i did i was like oh wait a moment <laughs> well, that's, that's <laughs> well, what, what um where, where did the name come from what's it stand for okay so when i first stood up this channel um i was really into planet tanks like that little tank up there that was my first after this big tank i bought this little tank and i uh, the one that's do, on the screen with this yeah yeah i wanted to yeah, do yeah. um a, 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 like an aquascape so if you see on the bottom, the, the, the carpet is HC or Hemianthus calichicrides or baby dwarf baby tears. Yep, so that's the yep. scientific name, HC. We can call it HC. So that's why I need my channel, my channel that way. And also, um, it's my middle initial. So I thought that like, kind of has double meaning. So that's how my, how my channel got my, the name. Triple meaning. Triple meaning. Triple meaning. <laughs> <laughs> it was meant to be. Yeah. yeah. Um, now, I'm going to start this now so that we catch uh, as many people as we can. Because one thing, like, it's so much fun doing streams with the Fish Fam and they we get carried away and they go for two, four, six, 24 hours. Mm -hmm. um, so we try and do this one for, for about an hour. So I'm conscious of time that what I want to do is I was talking to Jesse a few weeks ago after the 24-hour stream um, and realized that Jesse's – He's got a, a lot of subscribers already. He's how many subscribers? It's four thousand something, fifty maybe. 4, that's more than that's double two, isn't it? <laughs> so four thousand subscribers. But Jesse is a few hundred hours short on getting monetized. So yeah. any like of you guys, I'm, I'm like the most the guy with the most subs with, with without being monetized yet. <laughs> And <laughs> it's funny, like monetization is a funny thing. It's like, um, I mean, I've, it's not like you go, bang, they're monetized. Wow, now they make heaps of money and things change. Yeah. It's just like a hurdle or an obstacle to, to get over. And um, I looked at mine and it was like, if I was monetized, because now I've hit the 1,000 subscribers, I would have made $28 last year. So like, how do, that's how do you know? 
Oh, no, um, if you go to one. Social Blade, Social oh. Blade tells you like how much a you like an estimate. Oh, okay. Um, and of that twenty eight dollars, one video would have made ten dollars, and that's the uh, Pygmy Corey video that seems to just keep getting watched, um, which is good. Um, social Blade, which is really funny, uh, but. It, <laughs> You know, it's like a, it's a mental goal and it really helps sort of each creator like just to be encouraged. And I mean, it opens other avenues and that sort of stuff. But what I wanted to say was um, I'm going to leave that ticker running for the rest of uh, the stream. So anyone that's getting tired, I know it's late where you guys are. Um, if Before you go to bed, just chuck on. Oh, you've given me a link. Let me put this link in as well. Oh, I'm sitting so low, I can't see the keys. <laughs> um let me put this link in the chat and that is hg aqua's streaming playlist is it yeah my live streams because i figure it's like they're bo they're all about an hour long yeah so like if you ended up you know i mean by all means catch up on the streams and enjoy them as well but if you're feeling tired and you let it play all of a sudden, Jesse gets eight hours if you get eight hours sleep. If you get 10 hours sleep, he gets more. So it's an incentive to sleep in. How amazing is that? <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, uh, yeah, definitely. 600 more. So I'm pretty close. But How many? 400? Oh, 600. No, yeah, 400. Six, sorry. 600. 600. Yeah. Um, but you, I'm going to lose There's a, a little bit of urgency as well in there, as well, isn't there? Because you said that there was some a large video from. Um, from January 26th last year. Yeah, so yeah. for those that don't know, you've got a rolling 12 months to get the 4,000 hours. So if we give Jesse 1,000 hours after the 26th of Jan, it may, it'll, you'll lose all the hours he had from the 26th of Jan last year. So um, over the next two weeks, thinking of Jesse does a lot for the, uh, the community. And it would just be really cool to tick that milestone. Thanks. Cool. <laughs> Actually, um, I learn how to use this social blade thing. I want how do you see your own? I did. I don't know. I did it a long time ago. You should be able. You can see anyone's channel. I should be able to look at your channel as well. Okay, I, I, I just found it. I think you can just search for anybody. I want to see how much I can make. <laughs> yeah, exactly. A I'm friend of mine, um, my Very neighbor, well. he um told me he told me about it when I first started a a channel, and I was like. You know, I, it's it's not about anything. It was just like it's a bit of a hobby. I enjoy fish and I was getting into um, making videos. But I really, I was finding I would spend my spare time watching people like King of DIY and, and stuff like that. Um, and he's like, oh, I'm going to have a look at him. And he looked at me he's like, you know, that dude makes like 20 grand a month. And I'm like, what? <laughs> um, um, I don't know if that's true or not true or whatever, but that's what Social Blade's adding up all of his stats saying he would – average about that much um and it's yeah it's not about getting rich or anything off youtube but as i said before but it's really interesting um and it just opens the door as well a little bit to you know it I makes mean, it, it funner it's already it makes, fun. yeah, it does. So i kind of i used to get right into a lot of video games and like this is my video game now it's like mm -hmm. you know putting out a new video is an achievement um, having people subscribe, having people just comment or attend live streams, that sort of thing. Oh, there's a Social Blade app, James is saying as well. Mm. Um, no, I found it. I found it. I can make the, um, between two dollars and thirty or thirty-five dollars this month, or whatever that means. Estimated monthly earnings. So maximum is thirty-five. Not much. See, so if we watch the videos of Jesse's, then he can quit his job. And live off two to thirty-five dollars a month, yeah. <laughs> and have a, a sandwich a week, maybe. <laughs> you know, that's the other thing. Like, I would kind of look at it and go, if ten dollars popped into my bank account, I could go and buy fish food and go, wow, my videos fed the fish for oh, that's true yep. a month, which is it sounds weird, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, now one of my when I was talking about King of DIY and using my spare time one of the other creators that i used to watch was i still do watch and i'm still in awe of is uh swisky oh yeah and then yeah. you were you were saying oh you know doing something with jimmy and all this and i'm like not not drawing a correlation at all and then all of a sudden 
bang, I drew the correlation. I'm like, oh, my God, Jesse knows Swisky. I've been watching Swisky for ages. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so yeah. how do you know Swisky? Um, well, actually, he, he contacted me on my IG account. Like, he sent me a message that he's coming to Hawaii. And then um, he asked me whether it was okay if he did a fish room tour. So I said, sure, why not? And that's kind of how it started. That's crazy. Yeah. So I don't, I, knew... guess, well, I guess he was coming here and then maybe he was looking for people that in the, you know, fish hobby from here. So he knew your channel already. So you were obviously had already ha however many subscribers, how many videos have been on YouTube for a while. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, think I, had about, I had about 800 at that time. Okay. Yeah. How many years ago was that? Uh, I think a couple years ago. That's pretty, that's sort of, were you a big fan of his as well at the time? Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, I like, yeah, I watched a bunch of his videos. Yeah. Yeah. That's like one of those awesome yeah. feelings. Oh, yeah, it was totally, yeah, it was totally cool for me. It's like, oh, yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. Um, if, yeah. if I got a message from Swisky going, hey, dude, I'm going to Australia and, uh, you know, like your fish room, can I do a tour? I'd be like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen your fish tanks. <laughs> You're going to get here and go, oh, well, that was, we call it, he nah. calls it B roll a lot. That would be like delete roll, I reckon. I mean, <laughs> yeah, he's, he's good at what he does. Don't worry. He'll make it oh. look good. He'll make it look good. He's actually um, the reason that I experiment with how to film tanks. Like at first it was just sort of here's the fish, talk behind it, and then just, yeah, sort of, you know, point and shoot, one take. And then watching a lot of his videos, it's like, no, nah, hang on. Like you've got to have different angles and who doesn't like bubbles? Have some shots of the bubbles from the filters. and Oh, that's um, cool. Yeah, yeah. And it just makes him go... I don't know. That's the way he does it is incredible. That unboxing that he did. Um... <laughs> like throwing up the card. <laughs> oh, I thought I was watching Transformers or something. It was getting tense. <laughs> so cool. And also, you can you can tell me. I'm saying it right, yes, whiskey? Yeah. Because I keep yeah. reading it as whiskey. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> no, yeah, I see it's whiskey too, yeah. No, it's very cool. Um, So what's uh, what's – plans for the uh 2020 well i mean speaking of swiski he's coming back in may so um, i'm taking him out to go kayaking again at my sister's house because um, was that an exclusive here <laughs> I, I don't know if you guys have seen it before we went before um on carson's channel only carson posted that one um if you go see aquascaping 101 um he has a video of me him and um jimmy going kayaking so um, we'll be doing that to, again. I think I might have seen it, but um, so he frequents Hawaii. Uh, yeah, yeah, like at least once a year, if not twice. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, Sir Porn a lot's here. Sorry for your lateness. You're not forgiven. You can leave now. No. <laughs> Welcome, Jay Junior. How are you? Um, God, that'd be exciting. So you're going kayaking, freshwater, saltwater, saltwater. Yeah. And what do you do when you go kayaking as far as kayaking? So last time we went diving as well. So like we just like got off the kayak, dove around, looked around, maybe collect some rocks or whatever, which you're not really supposed to do. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> we got some, uh, what do you call those? Um, mangrove sticks thingies. There's a lot of those over there too. Yep. Collect some of those. That's a lot of fun. I recently got kayaks. My if cook is still here. My dad was like, I bought you and your wife and Harry kayaks. I'm like, what? You, you wow. did what? <laughs> and I then we're like, okay. And then I go and pick them up. And then my wife's like, where the hell are we going to keep those? And I was <laughs> like, I don't know. And then we go camping every year um, up in the Murray River, which is basically, if anyone knows New South or Australia's uh, states, the Murray River divides New South Wales and Victoria. Um, so we drive up to the top of Victoria and we took the kayaks and just had the best time. It just, I don't know, it was like you could go out and just relax and then just float back, um, go out, take a beer with you and sort of just float back and just enjoy it. Mm -hmm. I would go out with a Bluetooth speaker and just listen to music and 
Um, and yeah, it was really, it was really fun because we were finding koalas along the, the edge of the river. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we actually stumbled across this family who had, um, <laughs> they took a generator out and then they got this tarp and then they tied the tarp up to a gum tree and then they got the generator to pump water to the top of the tarp and all these kids, like hundreds of kids in the middle of nowhere <laughs> are just flying down this tarp as a water slide. So yeah, Harry yeah, yeah, yeah. had yeah. to go. It was yeah. so much fun. It was really yeah. cool. My sister does um, that too at her house. So, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. She has a big, huge chill. Yep. It's it's good seeing people get together and create stuff. I was on Australia Day, so it's like um, late January, so we'll be going up there again. And Australia Day is a very contentious point here that we shouldn't be celebrating it. But um, what I want to do this time is now I have an underwater camera. So it's very murky up there. I don't reckon I'm going to get great footage, but I'm going to try. So exactly, I think it'd be, I'm really looking forward to doing a kayaking video. Whether out of it you just get to see some of the Australian out, well, it's not the outback, but the bushland, definitely we'll see kangaroos and stuff and should see some koalas, which is sort of now becoming rare. Um, the kayaking adds like another dimension. It's really cool that we can use it in the hobby um, for YouTube and for fish keeping as well. Ooh. And what, what here is Carson? He's sort of slowed I, down. I told, I told him that um, we're doing this tonight, so I don't know. Yeah. Hi, Carson, if you're watching the replay. <laughs> no, I used to. Um, this is one of the reasons that, so the ways that I got to know you a bit better um, and about your channel was Saturday night our time, you and Carson and Max would usually, you'd be shopping. <laughs> yeah. Be picking out all the species of fish that you want. Uh-huh. And I'd be sitting there going, oh, I want that. We don't have those down here. And so would Max. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's his thing. He's always shopping. <laughs> oh, Chad you know, is saying he only just got the notification then that we've gone live. So oh, really? Something, maybe yeah. something's coming up. Still 27 people here, so it's not bad. I was a bit afraid that we're going a bit late. Why are we going so late, Jesse? Because I needed to wait to eat dinner and settle my kids down. I have, like, when, I'm a dad, so when I come home, there's a lot of things to do. And it needs to get all done before I can move on to other things. So. <laughs> that's I know, like that's why, like a lot of times, like people are streaming around, like um, when, right when I get home. So like, I can't, like uh, sometimes I'm just listening, but I can't really chat because I'm busy. Yeah, honestly, it's it seems really weird, uh, but it's I find it therapeutic to chuck whoever's streaming on the weekend. So like today, I mean, I was working, but like Lucas was live, um, Chappie was live earlier today. Chuck up the um, stream up on the TV and do the dishes and do washing and fold Ooh. laundry and stuff. And I'm like, that was fun. I was listening to everyone, felt like I'm catching up, and I got all the housework done, and my wife won't yell at me. So, <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, we can get a lot done. <laughs> it's true. But uh, this, time, this time we're going, um, you ever heard of Coconut Island? I heard the... Um, I heard they filmed Gilligan's Island on it, or at least the intro or something. It's a, it's like a little research island right off of our island. So we're gonna go kayak to that island. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, that is an opportunity to use the Gilligan Island theme song. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, someone said they wanted to hear singing tonight. Tell Jimmy you better do that. He, you guys could reenact the intro to Gilligan's Island. <laughs> <laughs> that would be hilarious. Fold laundry. What does that taste like? Like defeat, Doctor Black. That's what it tastes like. <laughs> um, oh, I had a question for you, and it just disappeared. No, T-Mobile sucks. It's It'll sick. come back. It will come back. Do you, and now. Does anyone else have any questions for Jesse um, while we're grilling him? I thought I thought it was going to get a bit deeper than this, but is that your dog? Smooth. That is my dog. That is okay, Sam Grudel. So, see this fish tank behind me. That's a door that now is no longer in use. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if I could change the hinges on it and make it open the other way. <laughs> uh, I need to put a fish tank somewhere. Oh well, we don't need that door anymore. 
Well, pretty much. I wasn't. You, you know what? Actually, I'm in the garage, and there's a lot of junk over there, and we've got um, what do you call it? Hard waste. So we, you know, you put all your stuff out the front, and they come by once a year and pick it all up. Mm. That's on Monday, which I'm really excited about. Once a year only. Yeah. Wow. They do ours every month, once a month. Oh, that would be incredible. Yeah. Um, but what happens is all this stuff usually just was sitting there and you couldn't use the door anyway. And I'm like, stuff that. I'm going to put a fish tank there. <laughs> I've got three fish, empty fish tanks. We've got one right behind me, which is like a 80 litre, 20 gallon. Okay. I've got one up here, which so I scored two fish tanks from a customer the other day. He was like, do you want some furniture? We need to get rid of all this stuff. I'm like, no, no, no. But if you've got any fish tanks, I'll take them. He's like, yeah, I've got two. I'm like, oh, my wife's going to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't have that problem. My wife obviously <laughs> is, is a different story where I have to like kind of get angry that she bought a home another tank. <laughs> I have the opposite <laughs> problem. She's like, what, what do you need another tank for? We have so many empty tanks. But she's like a deal hunter. So like, if something's like free or cheap, I have to, I have to get it. So, yeah, we have several empty tanks at our house. I have an empty 75 right there, an empty 30 right there, and downstairs there's more. So, yeah, this, <laughs> you don't want that problem either. No, no, sorry. My neighbors are talking over the fence to my wife, and that's why the dog is going nuts now. So I'm like, oh. I gotta mute me because that's annoying me. It's probably annoying you guys. Um, Doctor Black wants to know: Do you believe that Sir Pornalot is the best Aussie YouTuber? <laughs> He's funny. He's really funny. <laughs> like He's I watched, I watched his, um, what do you call that? Vegemite aquascaping video. <laughs> that was like, I know. <laughs> Did you have you seen his um his two hundred subscriber video? No, no, I didn't see that. No. Is it funny? I, I'll watch it then. If anyone has the link to his 200 subscriber video, um, please post it because Lockie, um, he doesn't he doesn't show his face in any videos, but in this one he does because he rides a prawn at the end of the video. What? <laughs> How is that possible? No, sorry. He rides, well, it's a prawn or it's a shrimp, but if you want to see a grown man riding a shrimp, 200th subscriber video for <laughs> for one a lot. <laughs> He's definitely the funniest. I'll give him that. <laughs> um, I'll just give you one. Give me one sec. I just got to see, make sure, sure the dogs are right. I'll be one second. Sorry. Okay. No problem. Um, do you want to, did you want to do any sort of room tour or anything? Show us anything in particular or talk about the, the other tank I can do. Where are we? I'll, Tell us a bit more about this tank, and I'll be back in one sec. Sure. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm surprised the fish aren't out. Maybe I'll go feed them some brine shrimp and get them out. Because um, usually when I'm sitting in my chair, this is right next to my chair, so this is the tank that I pretty much stare at all the time. But those fish are always sparring. But now they're, like, not even out. It's kind of odd. And this scarlet bat is it's so brave like whenever i go in to maintain this tank it's not scared of my hand it just goes right up to my hand so even though that's the smallest fish in the tank it's the bravest but, uh, yeah the, the one that came out right there on the left hand side that's the scarlet bat is i haven't really seen the black tiger come out yet sorry about that no 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 I know my dogs have been running away recently because um, I think there's a female dog in heat. Oh, God. So, like, we have to lock them up in the house now. Can't let them out until she's done with that, or however long that's been. But, yeah, they got on a bunch of times this week. It's kind of a pain. You have to take your bra off for the fish to come out. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? Jeremy. <laughs> I do. I, I love that. Andy, it's awesome. Uh, so in the back, that's um, pro weed. The, the two kind of bushes that comes to a V. Yep. And then the carpet is HC, and the red plants is um, 
AR Mini. And there's some Cora Moss in here too. Thank what you, Priscilla. I appreciate it. Good night. Um, Mini Pelio. Yeah, right, is that Priscilla. washed out a little bit on camera? What's that? Is that washed out a little bit on camera, the um, pearl weed? What do you mean? Is it washed? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's bright. Yeah. It, it looks kind of just white. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I was actually, um, I'm, it's probably one thing I want to do in 2020 is, I don't know, maybe even set a goal and say 20 plants. I want to know as much as I can about 20 different plants. Because the thing with plants for me is always a bit overwhelming. And um, when you've got small tanks um, and you've got cheaper lights and that sort of thing, I've always been like, all right, just stick to what I know. Like, your Nubius, um, you know, obviously, like your Java mosses, um, and Elodia, and a few things like that, and Crips. Mm -hmm. And I was looking at this today, literally today, I was looking at this, and it was, um, it was going, it actually looked a bit wh like whiter than that, and obviously, like a really faint, sort of brown, green, white. And I'm like, either that's dying or because <laughs> oh. um, I'm. If that was healthy, I was probably going to pick some up because it wasn't too expensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good night, oh. James. Thanks for stopping by. Hey, James. Um, well, this one just looks white because it's closest to the light, so it's too bright. No, I can imagine. Makes sense. And uh, what are the red, red plants at the front? It's AR Mini. Uh, so Anterior, um, wow, I can't think of it now. What is AR? Renekiai, Renekiai, that's what it is. Let me, um, oh, where are we? But you see that, like, kind of like a cave in the middle? Yep. It's a it's a mon mini mini monkey pot um, pod that I picked off a tree here, and then when the pod opens up, pod. it's a seed pod. I was thinking it was like a yeah coconut or something, so technically similar. Yeah, mm -hmm. that is cool, and it seems like um. I know, it seems like you've got a lot of uh, natural. Let me just bring us all back together again. Um, how how much stuff do you go out and collect from the wild um, for a lot of your tanks? Because it seems like you've got a so much more diverse range of things that um, you're working with in your tanks. So hardscape wise, um, I, I do collect a lot of that. Um, but but live plants wise, pretty mostly nothing. Like I only have. One plant I, that I actually took from the wild. Plants, okay. Yeah, I get scared of the bacteria and think oh, if I add anything, even a rock, I will get worried about what's going to be on it. And yeah, and... I'm, I'm not like that. I, I'm not scared of the nature, like natural bacteria and stuff. I think, like if your fish can't handle it, then it's not meant to be. <laughs> like I mean, <laughs> it's it's part of nature. I, I don't know. I believe like if you have a well balanced aquarium and fish that are fed and are healthy, I think they can handle some bacteria. Like you know, like you ever heard like we're one third, like we're outnumbered by the number of bacteria in our own bodies. Like you know, like everything, there's bacteria everywhere. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm pro germ. <laughs> <laughs> well, like the other thing that I worry about is that it will change the um, the balance in the aquarium as far as like Texas Holy Rock is going to raise the pH. Um, crushed Coral Sands is going to raise the pH. And that's why that's a really good setup. And you'll see it so often for cichlids. And it's very good for goldfish too. They like a, a, a higher pH. Mm -hmm. um, that I worry that if I put something in that it's going to just throw all that out of whack. But then also, as you just said, um how much is you know how much if that rock that's a big rock in this tank how much is it actually affecting the ph does it matter if it's a little rock or a big rock um or does it just keep it constant i when i first did my uh four foot tank in inside 
I set it up for discus and I got play sand, um, which I wouldn't recommend because it was super cloudy. It kind of looked cool. It looked like it was a bit cloudy, but it looked really good under light and everything. Or like, I think and, play sand is very, like, it just depends where you got it from, like where you sourced it from, but because it's just a general term. Like some come are, some are clean, some are not, I think. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think, yeah, exactly. So it depends on where where it was was sourced, but it it spiked that pH to so like 7.88 almost. So I had to then siphon the tank and vacuum it and then scrape out all the sand and then what go was something else. What was it before? And no, it was, that was the initial setup of the tank. So oh, okay. there was yeah. standard water. So say if I didn't put any substrate in there, it would be like a 6.6. Um, and because we're trying to keep discus, it was like, uh, that's not going to work. So we took it all out, put in what some happened? gravel. It's like I'm a neutral. Sorry. I think Amber's junk. Howdy, hey, mother truckers. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> boot me now. Whiskey has happened. Awesome. We'll get we'll get you up here in a second, Amber. No. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so then to go with like a neutral – neutral substrate because you know everyone says don't chase parameters and that's it's true so do yourself a favor and try and add the right things when you're setting up your aquarium so that you're not chasing it you know um people rely on powders and stuff i don't like i don't use powders ever so i just sort of I, I, I used to like not chase any parameters at all, but um, recently I've been getting into like wild betas and um, um, licorice gummies that you need like really low pH. And even my crocodile um, toothpick fish, they like really low pH. So that's why it, it kind of made me like, okay, I'm really going to have to start um, trying to lower the pH. And so that's when I started to do that. But other than that, before I used to just like straight out of the tap, don't worry about it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I remember that question that I was going to ask the other. Well, it wasn't really a question. It was sort of an understanding, trying to figure out Hawaii and Australia. <laughs> the time? So Jesse said, all right, it's got to be, we can do one. We'll do it at nine o'clock. I'm like, yeah, that'll work. Um, the only thing I thought it was going to be a weekday and it's Saturday afternoon or evening here now. Um, so Hawaii is 21 hours behind us, as it sounds like. Yeah. And that blows my mind because it's almost like, well, me and Jesse are very similar times right now, but he's yesterday and I'm today. Whereas it sort of makes sense with the uh, Americans um, and and Dan going, all right, it's like the opposite side of the world. So it's the opposite time of day. It makes a bit more sense. But you, you're like, you're right behind us. Yeah, yeah. It's like right the, like you're ahead of us. the time. Yeah. It's like, is it nine o'clock already? You're like, yeah, and Friday though, not Saturday. <laughs> Mm-hmm. It totally blew my mind. And then that means that, um, I don't know, Cam was here a bit earlier. Uh, he's, do you know Cam from the fish room? He's, I'm uh, pretty sure I do. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. New Zealand YouTuber. So he would be one hour ahead. One of hour. You. One hour behind, but a day ahead. 23 hours ahead of you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Sam is really annoying right now. There's actually one country that's the same time as me, but the day, the next day. So it's 9.50 p.m. here, and it's 9.50 p.m. there the next yeah. day. Actually, because I, I can't remember the name. It's like Tiki Tuka or whatever, some weird name. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's some, like, small island country. Blackie, you'll know that. Um, it's... Kiri Kiri, I don't know what it was. No, we were talking to... Cam about that. We're like, well, you're the first one to bring in the new year. And he's like, well, technically, no, there's this other yeah. country that's an hour yeah. ahead. And then it's New Zealand and then it's you. I can't remember what it's. It's, it's not Tahiti. No. No, <laughs> it's not. It's not Tonga. Here, I'd like to look it up. I don't uh, think it's Tonga either. Um, give me a second. Uh, I, just, yes. I need to find the YouTubes. I didn't know that um Ella or well, Lucas was at um Joseph's house, Amber. That was cool. I was like turned it on and I was like, uh, that looks like Joseph's house. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, he said he was gonna have a surprise guest pretty soon, and I I thought it was gonna be Amber, but no. That's cool. Ooh. 38 likes, 30 watching. If you haven't hit it, get those numbers. No, don't make them more even. That would be bad, wouldn't it? Um, just I know we've got a few new oh and ball space. How are you? Welcome. Um I don't think I said hello to you, Jeremy. I've laughed at your jokes, but I didn't say hello properly. And Rattletrap Fishing, if you're still around, sorry, but hey, how are you? Um, just a bit earlier, if you can see down the bottom of your screen, run HC Aqua's playlist. Let's get those hours up. Uh, Jesse's very close to getting that famous 4,000 hours in 12 months, um, but it needs a little bit of help. So definitely jump on, run a playlist. As we were saying before, do clean the house. Run Jesse in the background and clean the whole house and everyone's a winner. Otherwise, um, do it in your sleep and then sleep in and it will go for longer. Finally found it. It's called Kiribati. That is the small it's island. <laughs> yeah, who, what the hell is that? Nobody I knows feel that. like Homer Simpson on The Simpsons is like, What's this country? Uruguay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, too funny. Um, oh, there you go. Someone else said it. Too. Someone else found it too? Oh, no. no. I'm just reading. That was you. You are writing in the chat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stick Jesse on for getting the chores done today. There you go. Daniel Fishkeeping's got you covered. Thank you. Yeah, so have you got any um, live streams coming up as well that we can we can all join? I, I'm I'm trying to push myself to do it um, maybe every other Sunday. That's what I, that's what we do here. But I mean, it's Saturday night for you, so that'll be Monday for you. What yeah. time on Sundays? Um, the only time that was open was one o'clock my time. So I think it's ten o'clock your time. I know you're you, last time you said you were working. It's like right after GH and right before um, Q Aquatics. That's like the only open time there is on Sunday. Oh, that's right. You've recently moved that though, haven't you? What do you mean? No, like that's whenever I do choose to go on, that's when I've, I've been going on. Ah, I'm just getting time. confused. That, that was like a, it's an awesome busy time slot for, um, for streams. So you've oh. got JH, you got HC, you got Q, just we're only letters. You're not allowed to have a name. You've got to be Q. And then you got... Funk? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you would have been going at the same time as Funk for a little while then. I took Funk's old time slot because he Ah, that's right. So once he moved, I took it. No, well, that's good. Um, it's, yeah, from me, for, on behalf of all the Aussies, um, it's just that is Monday morning. Although it's, with daylight savings, it's actually made it a little bit more even for us. Um, so if you don't see us in some of those... It's not because we don't like you. It's just because we're sick of talking to you. No. <laughs> um, it's just Monday morning for us, and then everyone hates Mondays. Um, but I will try and remember that because I think another thing with me, which I can do both easily now, is I get up Monday mornings early to watch the NFL. This How long? It's like 12... No, 13 and a half hours exactly um, until the Niners play the Vikings. So um, I love that stuff. But obviously Sunday night or – yeah, Sunday. Sunday football is Monday morning for us as well. So that would be a good one. If I had the day off, I would have that on in the background and um, chatting to you guys. How long do you stream for? About an hour? Just one hour, yeah. And yeah. Uh, Candy's telling me to put all my videos in the playlist. I'll try. That'll be a lot of work. But. I've got um, I've got a little bit of a setup here because is, is there an easy way to do it in bulk or no? And what's what's Zenjin just saying? Oh yeah, exactly. Yeah, Candy said that a bit earlier too. Yeah, redfish, bluefish. How are you? Um, <laughs> I was trying to find your stream earlier. I saw that you were live, and I was like, I'm going to go back to jump in and say hello. And uh, I ended up on a Dr. Seuss page. That was kind of annoying. <laughs> yeah, that would happen. <laughs> yeah. Um, is, it, is Sam 
annoying anyone or is he nah, <laughs> creating not that bad. too many audio issues? It's not that bad. Oh, no, the battery's running low. I saw something I about what, it. I know what your I'll try means. <laughs> what does it mean? It means I'll forget. Hang on. Sorry. I just got a little warning that I'm about to go flat. Well, is there a way to do it in bulk, Candy? Let me know. Make it a little easier. If not, I have to go one by one. I think I'm, I don't know how many videos I have by now, but it's a lot of clicking. Oh, it's, it's not that hard, though. Like, if you just get your all your videos and just write, you go up to the thing, add to playlist, choose, add to playlist, choose. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a lot of work. <laughs> click, 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 click. I'm going to see how many videos you've got now. Um, I've done, because I I like doing different topics or different ideas and then sort of separating them so that, you know, like, for example, doing the um, the gaming thing. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, I watched that. Yeah, did you like the game? Yeah, it looks pretty cool. It is. Yeah. It's, but is, it's, is, is it free, though? Or it's not. You have to buy. No, it. it's like, but it's only like it was cost me like twenty bucks, so uh, it would cost you like twelve or thirteen dollars on Steam. Oh, okay. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, hang on, here we go. A boot. A boot HC Equa. A uh, one hundred and eleven thousand views. That's awesome. Um, I thought it would tell me. No. That's how annoying. many videos? How many videos? Yeah, I would have thought it would say this many videos. Maybe only I can find that easy. I don't know. Yeah, well, maybe that's why I'm thinking it. Because, um, but yeah, anyway, so I try do something a little bit different, and I sort of go, all right, that's not going to be for everybody. But if someone gets right into it, then at least um, I can say, all right, so there's a that's what I'm doing with this one. This video is going to go straight into the Aquamate Experience one. So if people like these sorts of videos. Uh, they know where they can just go and catch up. Um, so we've done one with Parker, Sam Parker from Parker's Reef. He's the one behind the Underwater Pet Expo. Uh, that was a really good chat. Um, I've been well, talking to him every now and then since then. And then we had Dave from Nanotanks Australia. Uh, we're hoping to do a little bit of work together, not necessarily a video, but we're hoping to do a bit of work together soon. Max S., one of my favorite uh, Aussie fish tubers who only has one video, but he's very knowledgeable and uh, he's sort of helped me find a bit of a local connection. Susie Q's video today was about the uh, fish club and uh, Max helped me find the, the fish club that's local to me. Um, and then to have yourself, it's it's awesome as well. Do you have a local fish club near you or is it is it you and Carson? And- no, we have, we have three clubs on this, oh, wow. island, on this one island. Yeah, and I belong to two of them. That's cool. Mm-hmm. So, what do you do at the fish clubs? Or, oh, firstly, Sir Pornalot wants to fight. He wants to. He wants to have a mega aquarium off because um. What is the, he? Oh, can he challenge? too has decided to do videos on mega aquarium, but I know. I mean, he totally copied me, <laughs> <laughs> but no, I know that he um. He was trying to do something with it a little while ago, and we were both saying, hey, that'd be cool. That'd be a good idea. Um, but um, he had some issues trying to stream it, so he gave up on the idea. And then I did it, and I think it maybe kicked him kicked him in the butt and went, all right, I'm going to do it properly this time. So he's got a video about that as well. I don't know how we're going to do this, Sir Prime. We're both doing the same <laughs> review on the same thing <laughs> at the same time. Um so it only makes sense that we sort of combine at some stage and then we uh, we okay. just prove that I'm way better at Mega Aquarium than Sir Pronolot is. <laughs> is there freshwater fish? I, well, I haven't got far enough into it. I don't think there is. It starts with salt water, um, but I don't think it's going to upgrade to that. So you can – there's a few different modes. So I'm just playing through like just the standard, you know, how you would – a to B sort of linear sort of format, um, oh. whereas uh, Sir Pronolot's gone with the turn everything off, turn everything on, 
sort of thing. And he's like, what we should do is turn everything on so we have unlimited money. We've got 30 minutes and then we have to make the best aquarium we possibly can. <clears throat> and if we can I'll try and figure out how this could work, if we can, I can walk through his aquarium and judge it and he can walk through mine and then just let you guys be the judge at the end and say, Aquamate's obviously superior. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No yeah. fresh water, but there is modding, so there's a chance someone will add it. Well, there you go, Lucky. <laughs> what did the third one do, Jesse? Um, so the third one that I don't belong to it does Goldfish and Koi. And I've done a couple tours on their show, but I don't belong in their club because um, they're not really good at reaching out. Like I tried to like email them, and they didn't answer me. I don't know. They just They need to get like up with the times and it was like, ah, it's, I'm busy enough anyway. So I didn't chase it, but I like gold, goldfish and koi. So I would. That's awesome. Just quickly, Dr. Black, can you um, just post a link to Max's channel? Um, I think Zen Ginger may have either left us or she might not have his link. So, and he's not an easy channel to find because there's about 700 Max S's on YouTube, which is. Uh, yeah, it's, it's hard to find Max. Actually. Even if we just said Max S Aquatics or something, or Max S. It's hard to find. I, I, I have to go through my subscriptions. Yeah, it's a bit tricky. Um, hmm. it, no, it, you're right, Zen. Uh, if you haven't got Max S, he is tricky. It's, if you look up Max S and he's got a logo, his logo is uh, Crebenzis. Subscribe while you're there. And then um, if you link, he's got one video about um, lots of fish from the outback, which is incredible. Sorry, so you were saying the, the third um, club is about more goldfish and koi. Goldfish you know, and koi yeah. are illegal here as well. We can't have Cuban cigars and we can't have kois. Oh, that's nuts. It's an, it's crazy. Um, but, I, but you can have them in other states in Australia. So I'm not sure if you've seen Rumble's Fish Room. Or were you on the – were you talking with us on the stream when Rumble was on there? Pretty sure. Yeah, that koi sure. pond. Wait, how do you rum ball or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. Yeah, it. yeah, he built that one with the glass sides on his. Yeah, deck. That's, yeah. He's he's a really cool place. Yeah, he's very creative. I um, just learned about his channel through yours. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Definitely. Um, he's doing a lot of stuff. He moved a eight hundred gallon. I think it was eight hundred gallon tank the other day. Um, and he's work, doing a little bit of work behind the scenes on that. So um, keep him in, in in mind. But what were the other two channels? Um, sorry, clubs. Mainly uh, auctions. The, the or the one that I belong to, the, there's the main general aquarium society, Honolulu Aquarium Society. It's, the, it's large. It has like over 100 or so people. I'm not even that sure. Cool. Know, but it's a large one. We have meetings every month at a elementary school. It starts off with a talk. So usually someone just talks about something for about an hour or so, and then we'll take a short break and then we'll do an auction. Uh, Sir Pronolot just found it as well. So there's the link for anyone. Yep. I think Jeremy was one asking for it. Um, I, how, uh, I don't know how big the one where we are is, and I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm a bit, to be honest, I'm a bit nervous. I don't know about you. Um, hey, Thirsty, how are you? And Sharpie, I don't think I said hey to you earlier. Jay's better room. Um, I'm a bit nervous when you have a YouTube channel and you talk about fish so openly and freely with like a community like ours. It feels like a little bit like moving into a local fish club and correct, like I'm just speaking my mind, but maybe some of you will relate to this. You feel a little bit like, oh, I don't want to tell them that I have a fish channel because they're going to be like, oh, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about or he's got nothing or that's easy or you I mean, it's like it's human nature, isn't it? To feel like you're judged to put yourself out there. Um, I mean, most of them already know, like I, there's a lot of people from Hawaii that follow me and, and Carson. And so they, like most of them know, yeah, yeah. but I mean, and, and I, I do acknowledge that a lot of them know a lot more than I do that I can learn a lot from. So, I mean, I just take it that way. It's like, you know, I, yeah, I mean, they, they know a lot, and, and that's why I joined the club, because I can learn a lot from them, just because yeah. I have a channel. Like, you know, we all have channels. It doesn't mean we know squat. <laughs> it just means we like fish, and just like everybody else. 
Yeah, and and I think that's I definitely I'm not I'm not an expert. I've been keeping fish for 26 years, um, mm-hmm. on and off for some of those years, uh, but. I don't know everything. I definitely don't know everything. Mm-hmm. Some of the people that I've met in the fish fam um, blow my mind with their knowledge and there's certain things they talk about and go, well, I've never even attempted that or thought about that. So I know nothing about it. And that's what's really good is bringing us all together. And, I mean, you with the, the pseudo moguls on your logo, <laughs> like it sort of stands out. I love them, but like honestly, I can't even breed them that well. Like, like I had only a few fry. Yeah, yeah. well, you know, I got the honey blue eyes, and I mm. lost one in the tank. And the there's a couple that decided they just wanted to follow the rummy nose, and mm-hmm. I'm like, there might, there's no, I haven't found an expert on honey blue eyes, so I did as much research um, as I could about them and put a video out there which I probably tried to have a bit too much fun with it for it to be a, a reference for a lot of people. But then I moved them into this other tank and I don't know what happened, but two of them just deteriorated straight away. Mm. And the other guy, he's, he's now back with the rummy nose and he's, he's going along fine. Uh, but it was, it's pretty disappointing. So then I got the Pacific blue eyes mm-hmm. um, and I lost a few of them in this tank, maybe because they're too small. I don't know. This is another, I don't know. It's another sort of new thing. I'm 26 years. I've never kept goldfish. <laughs> so oh, they're yeah. my goldfish. <laughs> and then uh, there is a Pacific blue eye now with the rummy nose too. And I feel like that whole tank can change, become a planted tank, big school of rummy nose. And whenever I can get my hands on some honey blue eyes, I feel like I can grab them and put them in there and even some Pacific blue eyes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but there, there's some really cool people in my club. Like, there's this one guy. Like, I, I've been talking about this. We're going to have uh, grow out fish. That means, like, whoever can grow out this one fish the biggest for one year, we'll bring it back. And, like, whoever the one looks the most office, like, awesome, then they'll win. But, like, this guy, he's he's offering up his killifish. And he says, yeah, I can I can breed a couple hundred for the club and, and sell it to everybody for, for the grow out. Like, how's that? Someone can just, like, I'm going to grow 200 killifish for you guys for your contest you know like that's how good they are As i know talking, i'll do it in march you know like he'll just time it just correctly like, okay mark's, today, so. <laughs> mark's aquatics I, I can't help it he says aquatics so i just have to say it that way but mark's aquatics mark's aquatics um have you seen his channel because he's he starts a video series by going up to a tank a community tank and goes Here's some rummy nose. I'm going to grab a couple of those. Bang. Here's some eggs. There we go. Yeah, There's the fry. I, and you're like, what? <laughs> I know. He makes it look so easy. I'm like, oh, um, I'm going to try that. I'm going to try that. The That's what I'm trying to do with the pygmy cores. So he's got one on the pygmy cores. The only thing I can sort of feel like is different. Um, I've, I'm very successful at breeding the snails in the pygmy cores because they were on the Valisneri <laughs> um, uh, plant that came in. But... RO water. So my local fish store is closed because of um, holidays. They're back on net, not Monday coming up, the Monday after. I'm going to go buy some RO water. I stupidly should have, it rained a lot yesterday and I really should have put a bucket out to try and catch some rain. I'm going to try and do that as the uh, the water change. Oh, we'll see if yeah, 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 yeah. That might if work. it spurs them, I will pay a lot more attention to it because it's something I've never tried. Um and oh my god zen found my teespring <laughs> your, te- your teespring's on your channel i was actually looking at that before i'm like hang on that's right so I, just, I forgot i put it on my channel you've got a, you've got a patreon too oh yeah, and, yeah, yeah i've ne- have i've never looked into doing a patreon or anything like that i think but i will check out this teespring hell yeah i just, I just stood those things up and i didn't talk about it or anything you got one T-shirt there for twenty-one bucks Australian. Is it twenty-one bucks? I'm trying yeah, to make it as cheap as cheap. possible. It's supposed to be only like ten bucks here. Maybe fifteen. Maybe fifteen. Oh, yeah, that's it's cool. Because it's like the, the fifteen one. bucks, fourteen ninety-nine or something on your side. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Sam, shut up. <laughs> um, the I, I, the rain is louder. It's raining really. Can you hear my rain? No. Oh, 
Oh, it's loud. Aquamate, is your Teespring empty or do I have a funky link? My Teespring, ignore my Teespring. <laughs> I I really like this T-shirt, so I want to um, print some of these for anybody that wants to. Uh, yeah, there's a few people. Like, okay, yeah, get yeah, one. Um, like but I can't. Yes, Alien World Aquatics. <laughs> Check them out if you haven't. That's awesome, that T-shirt. Um, I really want to put it on the Teespring, but the logo that I've used here, it won't. It's the quality isn't right for Teespring apparently, which confuses me because this is this has actually come out really well. Like, there's no blurs or anything like that. Are you are you saying you tried it and you ordered it and it didn't look good? No, it won't let me. Oh, it says that the quality is not good enough because this is a PDF, whereas Teespring won't accept PDFs. So I've got PDFs, PNGs, and JPEGs. JPEGs are not very good. Go. Just um, convert it. Sorry. Just convert. Just convert it to whatever they want. They don't. They don't want a PDF. Yeah, you can do that with a PDF. It's, a, it's not really an image file, is it? It's a locked. Well, you can. I don't know. Maybe you can screenshot it. I don't know. So you only have it in PDF version. No, I've got it in PNG, but that's not a very good quality. That PNG is like, for those of you that are watching, you can see the logo near Jesse's head. That's a PNG because there's no background, so it just like it seamlessly yeah, goes. That's not picture. good enough. Hmm. So it, it's it's a very low quality format of a picture, but it um so it can't blow up really. If it blows up, it'll pixelate lots. A JPEG is like it's stuck. So you can put a JPEG on. That's what that will be. Um, Alien Worlds Aquatics. That's perfect for a photo, but hmm. on mine it would come up. This would all be grey, so like it wouldn't be seamless black. Yeah. as a jpeg mm. and then pdf works perfectly but they don't accept it so i'm just trying to find a way that teespring will do it because um jet shrimp granny was saying they have uh, vista print over there if there's a way that i could set it up i just want to make it very easy for americans to grab it and cheat um but maybe with the aussies if i can't find a a better way then i'll just i'll just take the orders here just message me if you're in australia and you want to buy one and just tell me your size um, and I'll organize it. I'll either just get it delivered straight to you or um, get it sent to me and I'll pass it on. Or if I see you at the underwater pet expo, <laughs> um, I can have some ready for you. Mm. But yeah, I, she was. I want to order one of these now. <coughs> How much shipping down here? Size small. I don't think I'm a small. <laughs> I know I made the mistake of ordering large, but I'm not large anymore. <laughs> oh, this shirt is like too tight. <laughs> I need extra large. Proceed to check out. <gasps> How much is shipping? Open your PNG and paint, then save as JPEG. Yeah, something like that. No, that's not going to well, work. PNG is, is a backgroundless file. So it's like a JPEG, but... There's no background around it. it it's transparent. Right. Um, shipping to Australia is sixteen dollars. Damn. GST is three dollars seventy eight. The handling fee, whatever the hell that means, is a dollar twenty five. So it works out at forty two dollars seventy six for one of your t shirts. Is, is that a, is that a lot of money there? Forty dollars. Is it? Does it feel like forty dollars here? I wonder. Like that's an expensive um, shirt. I mean, a forty dollars shirt. That's expensive. That's a little less than a slab of beer. What's a slab? <laughs> a carton of beer. What's a carton? <laughs> How many? <laughs> I, I don't you buy know, cars, so I don't. <laughs> you don't use either of those words. <laughs> uh, I thought Americans use carton. No, we use. You say case. A case. So twenty-four yeah. beers. Yeah. So twenty-four beers. A like a standard brand, not Foster's. Foster's is what we ship to you guys. Like 40 bucks, the case is 40 bucks, 50 bucks for a oh. cheap case. Oh, that's expensive. Okay, and then <laughs> like if you want something that's you know just a little bit nicer or whatever, that it's like 70 dollars. So, okay, okay, so that's not too expensive of, of a shirt. Then. <laughs> no, it's like. Yeah. I just I won't have beers for a week. Uh, it's, a, a, it's a good comparison. 
That's in, it, it is interesting, and that's one of the reasons that I want to figure out probably the Teespring option for Aussies. Um, I could probably, I don't know, I could probably sell these for twenty bucks Australian. So then the shipping might only be like five bucks. So therefore, it saves the Aussies that if they want to buy one, that it's um it's saving them twenty bucks rather than doing it through Teespring. But then to ship it to you guys. Then you should go to probably end up the same, so you might as well just let Teespring do the hard work. Yeah, for you. yeah. so maybe you just do both, you know, like oh, you go to here if you're from here. And... Well, I will, I'll try and get this onto Teespring. Um, did sure there's a way it look? I mean, it looks totally appropriate for Teespring, you just gotta get the file. Yeah, yeah. we've got a white one and a black one, and then just leave it at that. And then, mm -hmm. um, I actually have a couple friends that said, Hey, I will buy one of your shirts, but I hate your logo, and I'm like. That's fair enough. <laughs> That's not for everybody. What? <laughs> what are you saying? Well, then, no, as in like they want to support me with the, doing uh, Aquamate. And like if you actually had a T-shirt that was nice that said Aquamate and not this. <laughs> you got DPK to do your um, yeah, yeah. Your logo, yeah? Uh -huh. Very good at doing logos. I, I have never spoken to DPK and I haven't seen him around. I'm assuming. Uh, I seen him th earlier this week. He comes. Yeah, he popped in and out. Oh, well, that's cool. And he did um, Jess Shrimp Grannies. I like that one too. Mm -hmm. That one makes me laugh. <laughs> My oh, neighbor yeah. did this one for me. I, I said I want something fun and sort of punky and um, I don't know. I don't know of... how he did it. It kind of resembles her. <laughs> yes. <I know. laughs> how do you do that? That's you don't look like a shrimp, Jess, if you're watching the replay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> did a really good job um well, there was something else i was going to try and say but uh we've hit an hour and 15 minutes so oh, nice. gotta, gotta go and uh cook some dinner all right my wife's doing the oh, salad and i'm doing the, the meat hobbyist fish keeper thanks for joining us drunken 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 the duncan discus fish <laughs> how are you thank you for joining us Aquasca, he made it. Just <laughs> oh, now he can go live. This is the time he usually goes live. Well, actually, I was actually going to ask that too as well. Uh, what are you up to for the rest of the night? Is are you going to be live anywhere, or is Carson? Are you going to go live because we're going to wrap it up in a minute? Um, so that would be good for anyone that's just not quite tired yet. Also, <laughs> remember run HC Aquas playlist um, and get those hours up as well. Well, is it bad, Ginger? What's going on? Oh, we talked about you earlier. I reckon we talked. It was all good, wasn't it? I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have to watch the replay, Carson, to find out. <laughs> oh, he's, a, yeah. he's very live. Cool. All right. So um, what time is it? It's 10.20. 10.20. 20 o'clock with whoever is wherever. Um, jump on Carson. Make sure you subscribe to Aquascape 101. He's about to go live. I'm sure you'll probably say, hey, join in with Carson or something. I'm presuming, but <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> I'll try and be there. I've got to go cook dinner and uh, then I'll see what you guys are doing and probably just be in the chat and say, hey. But thank you very much for joining Um Took a couple of weeks to organize the time, but well yeah. worth it. I know I'm pretty rough to schedule it, I know, I admit. You go live at eight o'clock on Sunday nights, is that right? No, no. Uh, 1 p.m. my time, that's what, 10 a.m. Yeah, I'm trying to think of time. time. 10 a.m., 10 a.m. Do you know what you Americans do to us when we're trying to think of times to do things? As in mainland Americans, we go, all right, well, it's going to be that time for them. So that will let them know. Because if I go, hey, we're live at 11 o'clock Sunday morning, everyone goes, they're not there. Where are they? <laughs> yeah, but that's, that's the one thing that YouTube did. It, it kind of made me like a time zone expert. I, like when I talk talk to people, <laughs> I work, it's like in Ohio, it's this time. Like, how do you know? I was like, oh, I just know. <laughs> I know, like right now, I know that it's eight twenty-one a.m. for Daniel keeping fish. Yeah. So, 
See, I'm, I'm learning it too. But yeah, thank you very much for joining us. I really appreciate it. It's awesome to see you around uh, when I do. And thank you very much for the stickers and the uh, the cigars. Oh, yeah, no problem. Thank you for having me. You haven't done the Vegemite yet. Oh, that's right. I'll also do it. But oh, well. <laughs> We're out of time. Make sure you do it. Whenever you're going to do it, you send me a message and say, hey, I'm on a stream. I'm really hungry. I'm okay. going to do the Vegemite. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Everyone, check out HC Aqua's playlist. Let it run overnight. Let it run while you're doing anything. Let it run while you just enjoy his dulcet tones. But thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate you stopping by. We will see you guys soon. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs>